Welcome, history enthusiasts. Today, we embark on a journey back in time, thousands of years, to the era of ancient Egypt and a man of unparalleled significance, Mentuhotep II, whose leadership marked the emergence of the Middle Kingdom. In the Grand Chronicle of Egypt's illustrious history, Mentuhotep II holds a crucial place. Born as the son of Intef III, a ruler of the 11th dynasty, Mentuhotep II was destined for greatness. As he ascended the throne in 2055 BC, little did the world know that the young ruler would become the harbinger of a pivotal era in ancient Egypt, the Middle Kingdom. Now, to truly appreciate Mentuhotep's influence and the onset of the Middle Kingdom, we must first take a step back and glance at the period that preceded it, the First Intermediate Period. This era, which fell between the Old Kingdom and the Middle Kingdom, was a time of disarray and division. The mighty empire that once stood united under the pharaohs of the Old Kingdom was fragmented into multiple small states. It was a time when chaos reigned supreme and peace was a distant dream. In this tumultuous period, Mentuhotep II ascended the throne. When Mentuhotep II began his reign, he was initially a ruler of Thebes. However, his ambitions stretched beyond the confines of his local realm. He envisioned a unified Egypt, a return to the glory of the Old Kingdom, where the pharaoh was an absolute monarch, revered and respected. With a clear vision in mind, Mentuhotep II commenced his mission toward a united Egypt. One of his earliest and most significant military campaigns was against the rulers of Heracleopolis, the influential northern kingdom. The exact details of the campaign remain shrouded in mystery. Still, what's known is that it was a protracted and bloody struggle that spanned several years. Yet, through persistence and tactical acumen, Mentuhotep II emerged victorious, bringing the Heracleopolitan kingdom under his way. With this victory, Mentuhotep II had accomplished a remarkable feat. He had effectively reunited Egypt, ending the period of chaos that had plagued the land for almost a century. From then on, he took on a new title, Nebpetra, translating to the Lord of the Two Lands, symbolizing his rulership over both Upper and Lower Egypt. But uniting a fragmented land was only the beginning of Mentuhotep II's path to glory. His reign marked not only a change in political landscape, but also a shift in cultural, religious, and architectural practices that would define the Middle Kingdom. Religion played a vital role in ancient Egypt. It was interwoven with the politics and social structure of the kingdom. Under Mentuhotep II's reign, there was a significant shift in religious practices. The god Amun, who was hitherto a minor deity, was elevated to a supreme status. Thebes, which was Mentuhotep II's capital and the center of Amun worship, rose in prominence. This religious transformation had far-reaching impacts, and the cult of Amun would continue to hold sway over Egyptian religious life for centuries to come. Culturally, Mentuhotep II's reign ushered in an era of change as well. The literature of the Middle Kingdom is considered some of the finest in ancient Egypt, marking a departure from the royal-focused writings of the Old Kingdom. Stories such as the Tale of Senu, a narrative about a royal official's adventures, epitomized this period. These stories were often filled with human emotions, complex characters, and moral dilemmas, reflecting the evolving societal norms and the changing role of individuals within society. Architecture was another realm in which Mentuhotep II's influence was profound. He initiated the construction of many grand structures. His mortuary temple in Deir el-Bari is one of his most enduring legacies. Unlike the pyramid tombs of the Old Kingdom, this was a terraced, complex structure built against a cliff face, showcasing a distinct shift in architectural style. The temple's design would later inspire the construction of other iconic structures in the New Kingdom, like the Temple of Queen Hatshepsut. Moreover, Mentuhotep II was a ruler who understood the importance of administration. His reign saw an increased emphasis on provincial administration, 
aiming for efficient rule and better control over resources. His approach set the administrative model for future pharaohs and contributed to the stability that marked the Middle Kingdom. Mentuhotep II's reign was the dawn of a new era in Egypt's history. The period, known as the Middle Kingdom, lasting from 2055 BC to 1650 BC, was one of relative peace, prosperity, and cultural blossoming. Following the unified Egypt's path, the era bore witness to innovations in literature, religion, architecture, and administration, elements that continue to shape Egyptian civilization long after Mentuhotep II's death. Mentuhotep II's life and reign were filled with accomplishments that transformed Egypt. Yet, his death was shrouded in mystery, much like parts of his life. His end came in 2000 BC after a long and prosperous reign of over 50 years. After his death, he was succeeded by his son, Mentuhotep III, who continued his father's legacy. To this day, Mentuhotep II's influence resonates in the annals of history. He is the pharaoh who unified a fragmented land, the king who ushered in a golden age of prosperity and peace, the ruler who changed the face of Egyptian religion, and the monarch who left an indelible mark on architecture. He was a beacon of resilience, a symbol of ambition, and a testament to visionary leadership. In conclusion, Mentuhotep II's life and reign are a fascinating study of a ruler's ability to change the course of history. His vision and determination led to the emergence of the Middle Kingdom, a period that shaped ancient Egypt's trajectory and left a lasting impact on future generations. The legacy of Mentuhotep II is a testament to the transformative power of leadership, reminding us that even in times of chaos and fragmentation, unity, peace, and progress are achievable. So, let's honor Mentuhotep II, the great unifier of Egypt, and his substantial role in the emergence of the Middle Kingdom, a time of great prosperity and cultural development in ancient Egypt.